all of these fairy lights and I think I'm gonna clean them out. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, today we are someplace new to me. Um, we are in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. I don't think I've ever been to Hamburg except to stop at the Starbucks. Um, but we are here today. There is an antique mall, a few buildings that way. Um, I couldn't find parking, so I parked here in this Wells Fargo lot, and I hope I hope it's okay. There's no signage, so we should be all right. Um, but we're gonna go check out this antique mall, and then right beside it is a thrift store. So I think that's our plan for today. I feel like it's a good plan. <laughs> Let's go see what we can find and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, well, this is why I was confused when I was driving down the street because it doesn't say antiques above it. It says Doris Berry. And then the windows say antiques because I drove by, I'm like, I didn't even see it. I must have passed it. All right, so let's head in. They've got a lot of really neat old ornaments back here. Shiny bright still in the box. This little box right here is only $14. And this box here, 18. Those are really decent prices for those pieces. Uh, Santa light, that's $30. Some of those similar recently get an antique mall, um, but they, I think we're asking 80 for it. There are so many little figurines and glasswares like this. Oh, and it's signed. Pool, maybe? I really like that, and it's as thin as paper, super thin. Um, I don't see any pricing. Oh wait, it's on the inside. $32 on that one. I'm not sure if I can pay $32 for it, so we're gonna keep looking. That's a neat piece. A little powder dish. Just noticed this little guy up here. Look at those big eyes. Oh, let's see the price on that is 18. He's a planter. <laughs> a little pixie. I love his eyeballs. What is he marked on the bottom? Made in Japan. 18. We did pretty well with pixies, so I think I might take a chance on this little fella. That's a really interesting ashtray there. A little goose with a worm. I don't think I've seen that one before. I might have to get it out and see if there's any markings. They've got 25 on it. It's a German piece marked on the back, Germany. Yeah, we'll take that as well. This case is just amazing. There's some really nice stuff in here. I'm digging those two little mice back there. They're fantastic. Uh, we've got the smokers here. And then over here, They've got some amazing glassware. Look at this piece right here. I mean, stunning. They've got 250 on that. Uh, looks like 195 in the back. And I can't quite see what the price is on that green one. But I might have to get in there and get a closer look at those because those are just amazing pieces of glass. There's also some marbles down here. Some nice swirling to those marbles. And then we've got a fairy light for 15 bucks. I think we'll take the fairy light. <laughs> That's easy. So we are going to uh, buy the glass that I saw. She is willing to uh, give us a little bit of a discount on those. And I just, uh, they're so amazing. So we're going to get those and the little Holt Howard mice uh, salt and pepper shakers. My goodness. It just goes on and on and on. And the owner just told me that she loves art glass. So I think we're on the same page on a lot of this stuff. Because um, I love art glass, as you guys know. Um, one of the pieces up here, this Fenton Jack in the Pulpit, uh, was one that we had recently. We actually sold one identical to that. So that's really cool to see another one. And then over here, I was checking out this uh, Melifiore pitcher. It's just outstanding um, with the gold flex in the handle. really love that piece. But we're going to keep looking because I realized I just walked in the door and spent about $500. So i um, got to slow it down a little bit and take my time. <laughs> Look at this redware. Oh my goodness. Oh, that bunny. 
and they've got $320 on the bunny and I mean that is what this stuff sells for in this area because it is Pennsylvania Redwear um, Brininger might all be Brininger um, but th those are some incredible pieces that you don't see very often this one over here the dog with the lamb when I do see these they're usually at auction and they usually sell for stupid money and I can't even touch them <laughs> There's a lot of collectors in this area. We've got Santa Claus up here. That orange check uh, piece in the back. I love that. Um, I don't know if that would be considered tango glass, but the contrast between the black and the orange is incredible. I'm like speechless. I'm, I'm just like blabbering on because I can't help myself. <laughs> I've ever seen this many Ceramiche figurines in one place, um, but they're so fun the way that they're made. They're kind of silly looking, but you've got the nurse here and there's a bunch of doctors. Marked Italy on the bottom and all of them, uh, yeah, all of them have their original Ceramiche tags there, so that's fantastic. Um, let's see what else we can find down here. Lots of uh, egg cups and then salt and pepper shakers. Um, the owner did see that this is a family shop, so everything in there, uh, in here, is owned by the owners. Um, and they restock every single day. So you just, you don't know what you're going to find. Which means we'll probably have to make another visit. <laughs> Of all the beautiful items in the shop, and I zero in on this little goat. <laughs> five, five dollars? I think they have on that. Little Japan goat, he's so derpy. I think that's why I'm attracted to him. Look at that face. Only five dollars. Take derpy goat. Now check out this milk glass plate. We come across a lot of these plates, and I've never seen one so beautifully painted before. Um, they have $28 on this, and it uh, has a ribbon on it so it can be hung. Um, but we do. We come across a lot of these, and I don't think I've ever seen one painted like this. Maybe originally they had been painted like this, but the paint has a tendency to wear off over time. Um, 28 on that. Um... I mean, when am I going to see another one? <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself. You know, you might never see another one. Um, 28. All right, we'll give it a shot. She's discounting our um, our glass vases, so um, I think we should be in, in decent shape. This little powder jar is stunning. I love the gold and contrast with the green on there. Um, I did pick it up and look at the bottom, and the price is $24 on that. Um, and I think because the paint is so vivid and still intact, uh, that'll be another piece that we we add to our pile. And as I'm looking at this, I just happened to glance over here and notice this. Ooh, I wonder what the price is on that. That is beautiful. I set my little goat down. What do we have on that? $28? Oh my goodness. Yes, I will pay $28 for that. Bright colors of this little compote caught my eye. Um, it is marked Italy on the bottom. And we've got this beautiful butterfly, uh, the red and the blue, for only $10. And uh, I, feel like, I feel like that's a good price for that. So we're gonna add it to our pile <laughs> and maybe make a trip up front. I brought everything else up front and forgot about this little guy. So I gotta carry him around now. <laughs> um, and I'm just scanning it. There's so much to see that I'm kind of like overloading, I think, on, on everything. Normally I'm able to just scan stuff quickly and get an idea for it, but this is really kind of overload for me. So I'm possibly missing stuff and you guys are screaming at me from the other end of the camera. This is a beautiful face here. I've got 38 on this, it's that design that I'm really digging. There's no markings on the bottom. That's a beautiful design. You've got your Greek key or Grecian key. Um, I've heard it both ways. And the whole pot is kind of a mat except for these little medallions around the edge. Um, so we will, 
think we'll take that. Um, I also noticed this glass piece up here. Our glass vase, ten dollars. I might check that in my with my black light. Let's get it out. Got to thank Dagny for that one because she really came through. Let's see. No, we do not glow. It was worth a try though. So I was actually walking back to check out that fairy light right there, um, and I noticed all of these fairy lights, and I think I'm going to clean them out. Uh, we've got 35. This is an inverted strawberry design. We've got this one, um, which is a nice winter scene on a sled. Here, a satin blue hobnail, and back here is another inverted strawberry, and this is a... Um, a lime, a lime fenton um, satin piece. So we've also got birds here, 38. Oh my gosh, look at this bird. Those who love the Lord shine as the sun. That is so sweet. It's got a little bumblebee and uh, flowers on it. A sun. That's just delightful. I mean, a lot of these I see over and over again. Like, I've seen all of these birds. I've seen the deer. I've never seen this before. And I really like that design. Um, you can see there's more Fenton down here. All right, so the owner just uh, pointed me in the direction of an, another plate with cats on it. Um, and these ones are even darker than the other ones. So I think we'll take this as well. Sweet little cutie here is $10. Um, checking this stuff out. Seven on that, five on this. I noticed this over here. See any markings on the bottom? It's eight dollars for the paperweight. There does appear to be a little bit of um, I don't know if that's damage or it could have been a manufacturer's. I'm not really sure, but that's a really nice paperweight. It's got some cane in it and only ten bucks. Um, I think <laughs> we were looking at the cases first and a little spendy, but ten dollars. Let's see what else we can find. This is a sweet little angel. Looks like a bell. She's September. Yep, a September bell. Um, oh, the fairy light. The original fairy light. This is the one that I was coming back to look at. Um, $29 on the blue fairy light. I wonder if that's a blue neek. Got the diamond optic on it. And I feel like that's also a reasonable price. Fairy lights are really hot right now, so it would be worth grabbing this. These are sweet little scenes right here. Old King Cole, eight dollars, and this one is Humpty Dumpty. The figurines that are glued to the mirror seem to be um, decent figurines. They are glued down. Um, they're only eight dollars a piece, so maybe we'll grab those for eight bucks a piece. This is a stunning lacquer box, and I love that the gold is actually, they may have used gold flake or something um, to make it stand out from the rest of it, and it is signed there on the corner. They've got $30 on that, though, and I'm just not real sure. Um, our lacquer boxes in the past have gone one way or the other, um, and so I think that's uh, too much decision for me. I'm going to have to pass on that one. <laughs> They've got all these hat pins in here that are quite amazing. Um... Those are really nice. Here we have some more Pennsylvania Redware. Some beautiful pieces. Now I'm walking in the opposite direction because I have a tendency to spot things that I missed um, when I'm walking in the opposite direction. So hopefully we spot a few more goodies. But otherwise, we've pretty much been through the whole store. Um, those cases up there, I might want to go through again um, because they had some magnificent pieces. We are again with another kitty plate. This one was actually reverse painted. You can see the painting there on the back. Um, and I'm having a hard time figuring out. I think the paint is worn. I was going to say, is the paint worn? But I think it is. Um, and this is how I usually find them looking like this. That is an interesting piece of artwork. A lady painting with gold frame, $52. She's very stoic. Here we have a little pixie wall pocket, $15. He's climbing the wall. Come here, you. 
Um, what is even marked on the back? I'm having a hard time with that. I probably should know it. Something crown. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> Look at his little face. I see these pixies a lot and they actually have the glaze and then the bisque face. I'll grab that for 15 And now I'm looking at all the bottles and I'm thinking, gee, I wish Andrew was here because he's the bottle guy. Here we have a bunch of dog figurines. And a few people too. Um, I think this little guy right here really caught my eye. Um, me or dog. I don't see a price on it though. He's carved wood. Wow, I was not expecting him to be carved wood, but he is. Carved wood wiener dog. Oh, maybe she could give us a price up front. He's very sweet. Oh, look at that. There's another matchy match. That one is $85, so the matchy match. And I think we got the little bird. I'm happy with the bird. Um, I don't know if we could do as well with the bear. Um, and I did look at these figurines. I must have totally missed that. A little clown in the back and a jaguar. And this duck is really sweet. That one's hand painted as well. But I bent down to check out the bottom shelf because we've got some really neat um, figurines down here. These glass figurines. Look at those birds. The pair of them for $150. I love the colors. They're very colorful. Um, but I wouldn't really want to ship those and I can't really tell um, whether or not they're Murano from here. I would have to touch them and check them over and look at their bottoms. Um, the little elephant is very sweet. Uh, his tag is actually turned in the opposite direction. From here that looks like a Luke Gutschall. Interesting. $450 Luke Gutschall wagon. 1984, $450. Um, so if you have ever seen um, one of our videos at Carlisle Antique Mall, you would remember that we had the hearse in there. Um, this is the same artist that did the hearse that we have at Carlisle Antique Mall. Uh, the quote-unquote, the last one. Um, this is a really neat wagon, though. With all the people in the back. It almost looks like they have real hair. It's a little, a little strange. Um, but that's a really neat piece for $450. Our issue would be shipping it. It makes, it makes me so nervous, even the idea of shipping um, the hearse. I would be terrified. There's so many little pieces and parts that it would just fall apart. But that's a really neat Luke Guckshaw. I think that might be the second one I've ever seen in person, uh, with the exception of my own. There's a, a JF Long up there. Reverse painting. A horse. $35 on that piece. We usually sell ours for about a hundred bucks. I like the horse. Um, it's a very uh, naive form of painting, but it is considered Pennsylvania folk art. And uh, for only $35, I might have to get that down. Well, he was pretty dusty, <laughs> but we got him down. This bird trees. We still have our bird tree. I don't know if we actually moved it into the antique mall or if it's still at the shop. That bird is interesting down there. Alright, and we're back to the case where we bought almost all of the vases. <laughs> oh boy. Little mice there. Um, and here... They have all their Christmas display set up. Ceramic trees galore. Um, but I think I'm going to bring this up front and this might be the last thing that we, uh, we buy. Well, <laughs> our total spend there was $1,039. And um, I'm very pleased with everything that we got. Um, it was a little bit spendy, but we got some really fantastic pieces of glass. I'm excited for those vases. I wasn't sure if they were let's, lotes. I'm always corrected on how I pronounce it, even when I correct it, and then I'm still wrong. Um, so I wasn't sure about that, but I was very excited about them. I figured they're pretty good pieces. Um, also, the Fenton Fairy Lights. That was a fantastic deal on those fairy lights, and I just had to, I had to grab them all. Um, they're really hot right now. Um, so I think we did all right. <laughs> 
think we're gonna be fine. Um, they had some amazing folk art there, um, and the shop is family owned and operated, so that was really exciting to be able to go in there and shop with them and support them um, and get some great pieces in the meantime. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here now. There is actually a thrift store right next door to where we just were, so I don't know why I got in my car and buckled up and started the car because there is a thrift store so um, yeah, maybe yeah I'll go check it out um, but you guys are gonna have to wait for that video and I will see you later so long thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video in case you spotted something you just can't live without we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description